eight hours to fly with each other. So we got to kind of know each other a little bit. The mom was sleeping and the baby was fussing. So I came over to kind of wake her up to see if she wanted to, to handle her. And the father, I think, spoke a little bit of English. I was asking how old she is. And he said that she was two days old. Little tiny thing, just so tiny. As the event started to just unfold, I knew that they were gonna need more airlift. So I was already preparing in my mind that uh, our squadron would probably be called upon to, uh, to offer some crews to the uh, OAR. There was, a, there was a lot of anxiety and nervousness with regard to the Afghans that were on the jet with us. They, uh, the unknown, you know, that unknown, picking up, leaving home. Some of the folks had very expensive Gucci bags. Their luggage was Gucci. Some, some had hefty bags, black garbage bags with their entire belongings in it. Uh, the look of concern was there. The, the moment that we were able to get airborne, every single person on that, all 70, 75 of them, immediately fell asleep. It was as if they could breathe and they could relax and they felt like they were safe. I, I am blessed to have a lovely wife who just understands. She knew that I'd be disappointed if I didn't go. We train a lot for all those things, whether it's a medical emergency or aircraft emergency. And in this situation, there's no real way to train to bring people on an aircraft that wasn't built to do this, that are experiencing the worst things they've probably ever experienced in their lives. They were just people needing help. and. Then, as a human, that's kind of our duty to help each other with any way we can. There was one, and he was definitely, definitely abled. And uh, the sweetest little thing, I gave him earplugs. And I looked at him and I said, don't eat. This is for your ears. And he just had the biggest grin. He was like, I'm gonna eat it. And then he joked with me and put it in his ears. And it was just... I think about them every day. It was a... A, a touchstone of my life. Just to see how how willing people are to step forward and leave their families and their civilian lives to go and, and volunteer to do whatever they can was really a humbling part to be a part of this operation. I really am impressed with the lean ahead, lean into it attitude of the, the air crew as well as the maintainers. I think that we often forget how difficult it is to make an airplane fly, meaning all of the people behind the scenes. So whether it's the medical folks uh, or our, our support folks, before we even left, we had our, our aviation resource management team, the folks that make sure that we are good to fly, cutting flight orders. They were up until midnight the night before to make sure that we could go do our job. They made a difference.